Hello YouTube, my name is Andre and um, I am N13 and I do live impro ambient lo-fi electro jams and lately I got a lot of questions about my setup and it's right behind me and I want to give you a short ride and explain some tips and tricks and connections. Maybe it's interesting for you how I set my things up, so let's get started. Here you see all my equipment. It's um, put on a guitar case. It's an SKB case for my Fender Jazzmaster. So that's my guitar that I use. Um, and the heart of my setup is this mixer. It's called um, VLZ4 and it's from Mackey. And I chose this mixer because I can have two stereo sand effects. So I have connected one delay and one reverb. And one is the Polymoon delay from Maris and the Mercury 7. So these outboard effects I can apply with the green knobs to, to every input. So I first start with a song and I tap in the tempo on the digitone and the digitone is the MIDI master. And after that I tap in the, the tempo on the polymoon and from there I can, I can start. So the mixer heart is this uh, mixer from Mackie and here you can see I have connected different things. One is um, vocals, the no coast, the defam, the Mother 32, an OP1, the Digitone, and on the Digitone it has two inputs and there I have this the OPZ going through the Digitone for effects. And then there's guitar and keys. And the keys are special because they are not, I don't have a real piano. I am running a piano simulation and this is coming from my iPhone. It's an old iPhone 5, and but it's pretty capable to run audio bus and this app called um, Colossus Piano. I can put a link in the show notes and then you can see um, and, and download it. It has um, different models and I play the upright piano model. And it's all wired through audio bus. So I just have a very simple audio bus session there running on the iPhone and Colossus Piano is the only app I use for the piano simulation. And I play the piano from the key step, the Arturia key step. And I use this because it has the velocity, um, it's velocity sensitive. So if you play the piano just on the, on the on the iPad clavi claviature it sounds like this so it always has the same velocity and here I can adjust it if I play harder or softer it depends and I also adjusted the velocity curve on the app I can I can show you this so it goes very soft can go louder. Everything that has MIDI here is um, connected through the Electron Digitone. So that's basically my, my MIDI heart. And I have two, um, two tracks on the MIDI running for the piano so I can layer them. The, the first one and uh, the second one. And both are connected via the MIDI channel one that goes to the to the um, iPhone, and on the Arturia key step, I can have um, two MIDI channels, so MIDI, MIDI channel five and six um, going are going to the Electron Digitone, and then um, I can play, I can record different um, piano tracks. I hope that makes sense. So basically, I have two tracks of piano that I can run simultaneously. And then I the, the Arturia information goes to the Digitone and then from the Digitone basically to the to the iPhone. 
um, all this is um, connected via an iConnect Audio 4 Plus. It's right below. I need this to uh, put the OP1 into the game because it doesn't have real MIDI. So I need an USB USB host. And there is a USB hub um, hidden here behind the mother 32. I hope you can see it. And there is um, the OP1 connected, the OPZ and the the key step and so i can route the the midi information through the um iconnect audio 4 plus interface um to the digitone and then from the digitone to the to the iphone so that's a a great way to filter out some some midi information for example i need to filter out um the midi clock from the op1 because otherwise i got um double tempo and that's not what i want and with the um, um, I connect audio 4 plus it's pretty easy and it also gives you four more inputs that I don't use in a, in the live situation so I have 12 inputs on my mixer and all of these are coming in and on on um, different tracks so I can have the the volume adjusted the EQ and the the sand effects that I mentioned earlier Another cool thing about the mixer is that I can um, mute tracks and if they are muted they go, go to an alternative output and this alternative output goes um, into the OP1 for live tape sampling. So I can say I want to sample my, my voice right now and if I do this you won't hear it but um, the... Um, the information the audio information goes right to the op1 and if i set it to um uh, the microphone i can have it twice so you should listen i think they're still um loading and uh, that's a problem turn it off right now and now if i send this to the tape for example or to the sampler i can sample um my voice to the OP1 and I do this really for I don't have an octa track anymore in the setup so I use the OP1 tape to record my voice let's try this one two one two now you hear it twice because the audio gets routed through the alternative output to OP1 and here you can see the the volume and if I now press um, record one two that's a test if the sampling of the op1 goes right i could listen to this on the tape right now and now if I one two that's a test if the sampling of the op1 goes right i could listen to the listen to this i could listen to this so now i could listen to this information in the in the op1 i can apply the effects for example, one, two, that's a test. If the sampling of the OP1 goes right, I could listen to this on the tape right now. One, two, that's a test. If the sampling of the OP1 goes right, I could listen to this on the tape right now. That's pretty cool because um, I can sample everything that I have laid out on the on the mixer and put this into sampling um, into the into the OP1. Another thing I often do is um, copy this from the from the tape and then go into the drum sampler and you can paste it from there and then you can have um, splices. No. No. This is just what I said. <laughs> To this this is on, on, on. Yes, yes, right. That's a nifty trick um, too. If you can't sing pretty good, you can you can always use the OP1 to pump up your voice. Um, that's that, and um, yeah. Then I have the also another function from the key step is that I use it to um, connect the the no coast via. Um, just um, simple um, cables um, so they are patched from the um, output of the key step and then I go to the no coast um, sometimes I use the gate function and the pitch function to play the no coast um, like a typical synthesizer it sounds like this 
So now I have the piano also, but if I change the MIDI channel on the key step by pressing shift and for example, MIDI track, MIDI number, MIDI channel nine. So I don't play the piano anymore. I only play the, the, um, the no coast. And I can also play traditionally with an arpeggiator. And then it sounds like this. I also have the hold function enabled on the um, on the key step, so I can arpeggiate and just let it let it run. If I don't need the if I need my hands, and I can also adjust the tempo, the division, not the tempo. The cool thing, so it's also in sync in sync with um, the digitone because the clock is getting sent from the digitone um, to the to the mm, iConnect Audio 4 Plus and then to the USB host and then gets um, to the OPZ, to the key step and to the OP1. So everything is in sync and that's also how I sync up my um, DFAM because the DFAM is lacking MIDI. I use the the clock output of the the patch cable from the key step right into the DFAM. So just goes into the advanced clock input and now if I press play on the key step the um, Moog also is in sync, the sequencer. If I enable it on the mixer, has some effects applied. That's the basic patch on the on the DFAM. And apply some reverb from the Mercury 7 via the send effects and some delay. The delay can receive clock but it doesn't. I just tap in the tempo so it's a little bit off sometimes but uh, I think it's okay. Crazy thing is you need to check that you always start on the on the last step of the DFAM sequencer otherwise it's um, out of um, out of the clock so maybe I show you what I have right now and explain some things that I do I just um, had a little jam session before and now I show you how it sounds so obviously I st always start with the tempo on the digitone that's the first thing I set when I start um, with a with a new session, and I always can change it because it's it's all synced up, and I don't use um, samples. So only on the OP1 if I sample my voice, but otherwise, other than that, I don't sample um, only the guitar. That's another video and, and a later part. Um, so I can change the the BPM later. But now let's see what I have. I press stop. Everything is stopped. The key step is also stopped. And the DFAM has the trick of the sequencer on the latest steps. So this is how it sounds. So if Basically, here I started with the uh, with the piano part. It's very simple. It's just um, sequenced from the from the digitone. You can see the tricks here. And I'm a bad piano 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 player, so the digitone can help me because I can edit the tricks afterwards if I play something wrong or the velocity is is off or the timing is off. I can still. Um, um, it still helps me so I can refine it afterwards and I apply some reverb to the piano with some shimmer so it gets more depth, depth. some delay maybe and then I kicked in the defam can change the divisions via the key step Have a 
sequence running on the Mother 32. I use the most of the time I use the Mother 32 as a lead synth. It can also produce very nice bass sounds, but I love the OPZ um, synth for a bass. So that's the Mother 32. You can change the divisions from here. Also apply some reverb and delay. And this, with this, I can have instant variations. before I just used the the bass from the OPZ. You can hear it now. It's beautiful I think. Can turn off the piano, turn off the MIDI track and the piano is gone. And then I can start with some guitar. The guitar is synced up with a boomerang looper via MIDI. So it receives MIDI clock so that my um, loops are perfectly timed. tracks. For the guitar part I use a pedal board with typical effects, reverb, delay, distortion and some lo-fi effects and an eventide H9. volume pedal and the looper and I go straight out of the Strymon Big Sky because it has a cap simulation and from there I go directly into the into the mixer so I don't have any amplifier or amp, amp simulation it's it's just the pedal board sound but I like it I can turn off things with the with the mixer, have some hi hats going from the ticket tone. It's just the OPZ and the guitar. So like us change the attack on the Mother 32, it's an instant ambient machine. I use the no cost for some arpeggios and for um, some crazy sounds during the set. So it's not not patched up right now, but it's always a good start to to inspire me. It's a, it's an awesome machine, and I don't want to miss it. 
yeah, that's basically my setup. And um, you can watch my other videos and there you can see how I use all the stuff together. And that's it, I guess. So thank you very much for listening and I'll talk to you soon.